Humans have been poking themselves with ink for literally thousands of years. In some cases, enduring intense pain in the process, all for the purpose of leaving a permanent mark. Some types of tattoos last forever. And I mean forever. Even this guy Otzi the Iceman still has his tattoos after 5,000 years. Looking cool, Otzi. Get it? Cool? Okay, okay, back to tattoos. The purpose of some tattoos is to mark your skin forever. And humans figured out how to do that before they even invented writing. But why do tattoos last forever? How did we figure out exactly how to stick needles in people to make art permanent on our bodies? In some cases, not so much art per se. Well, buckle up because we're about to take an adventure into our very own skin to learn about how tattooing works and how that ink settles into your cells forever. Before we do that, let's get to know the largest organ in your body a little bit better. This is where all the action happens, the skin. That's right, your skin is one big organ and it serves as the first line of defense for your body. It protects against foreign invaders like bacteria and viruses prevents water loss, and is responsible for producing vitamin D from the sun's UV rays. Basically, human skin is extremely important for survival. Now that you know a bit more about the skin, let's learn about how to stick needles in it. The skin is made up of three layers. The epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. Tattoo needles work by depositing ink through the thin epidermis and into the thicker dermis, the middle layer of the skin. This process triggers an immune reaction in the dermis. Makes sense, considering you're basically stabbing yourself with a teeny tiny sword. The needle works by depositing ink in the dermis to create a design. This can only be done by puncturing the skin deep enough to reach the dermis. So the epidermis and dermis are damaged in the process. Immune cells flood to the site of the new tattoo, recognizing the ink as a foreign substance that needs to be investigated. Finally, the hero shows up, the phagocyte. Phagocytes are immune cells that clean up harmful substances in the body. The name comes from the Greek phagine, meaning to eat, and the word site, which basically just means cell. The specific type of phagocyte involved here is the macrophage, which means big eater in Greek. So these brave eater cells show up to clean up the mess in the best way they know how, by eating everything in sight. Think Pac-Man, little guys coming in to eat up the invasion and save the day. Some of the pigment injected into the skin is carried out by the immune system into the lymph nodes, which is one factor that contributes to the fading of a tattoo over time. But not all the pigment is cleared out, so macrophages come in to eat up the rest. Except there is one problem. Many macrophages can't seem to destroy the pigment particles, probably because they're too big. Instead of clearing out, they remain at the site of the tattoo with the ink still inside. When these cells die, the pigment particles are released into the dermis and new macrophages eat them up, repeating the process. This is the main reason why tattoos are permanent. The cells die, but the particles left by the ink are re captured by new cells, so the pigment remains in the skin forever. Aside from macrophages, ink is also left behind in the dermis inside fibroblasts, which are the cells that produce connective tissue like skin collagen. To begin repairing the damage, the fibroblasts join together to form granulation tissue, which is a super gross looking but super important connective tissue that helps reform the skin. So the permanent tattoo is made up of pigment trapped inside of macrophages and fibroblasts 
as well as free-floating pigment particles that didn't get eaten up by cells, all forming a single healed layer of skin stained with dye forever. As for the epidermis, the skin cells at the top layer of the tattoo will die and shed off during the healing process. Oh. Sorry, epidermis. Over time, the ink trapped within the cells will slowly travel deeper into the dermis. This is one of the reasons why after many years, tattoos can fade. In summary, the entire process of tattooing requires you to temporarily destroy your skin and then wait for it to heal back together with ink inside. So you may now be asking yourself, if some tattoos are permanent, why why do they become faded or distorted over time? Well, there are a lot of different factors that can cause fading, in addition to the ink just migrating deeper into the dermis. For one thing, skin aging can cause the tattoo to stretch out with the skin. Sun exposure can also cause fading because of the UV rays ability to break down ink particles in the dermis. Ink particles left within the dermis will continue dispersing across over time, making the tattoo appear blurred. Additionally, the body's immune system can continue to carry ink particles away from the site of the tattoo, causing fading with a decreased amount of ink. Piercing your skin with a needle and injecting ink is technically not the healthiest thing to do on paper. But wait, there is a plot twist. What if it is healthy? Can you think of anything else that works by stabbing you, activating your immune system, and then making you stronger? Yep, vaccines. Scientists studying the body's immune response to tattooing have found that some people with more tattoos actually have a decreased level of immunosuppression, and that repeated tattoo experience is sometimes correlated with a more sensitive immune response to tattooing. In other words, the human body may be adapting to the stress of tattooing by strengthening its immune response over time. Now, does this mean that tattooing could possibly even be good for your immunity? Well, science hasn't exactly proved that yet, but there definitely is something interesting going on with the body's immune reaction to tattooing. That being said, tattoos can still have a lot of health complications if they're not done correctly correctly, not to mention the emotional pain of getting a tattoo you end up regretting later. Yeah, be careful out there, folks. Speaking of regret, you might now be asking if tattoos are permanent within the dermis, how does tattoo removal work? Well, good news. You can get that tattoo of your ex's name removed with the help of a little science and a lot of lasers. Modern tattoo removal uses lasers to attach attack the ink particles left in your dermis, some of which are still trapped inside the macrophage cells. The lasers target the ink particles and break them into smaller fragments, making it easier for the ink to be carried away by the lymphatic system. Although laser tattoo removal has improved a lot over time, it's still not 100% effective, and results can vary based on a variety of factors related to the recipient and the tattoo itself. So now you know why tattoos can be permanent. In some cases, they are a work of art that follows you for the rest of your days. Now just be sure to pick the right art. And if I may give you a piece of advice, avoid the name of your lover. That relationship might not be as permanent as the tattoo. Just saying. To learn more about the human body, click on one of the videos on your screen, like the video to let me know that you enjoy this type of content, and subscribe so you don't miss the next upload. I'll see you next time.